So Adobe is really jumping into the mix of all this new AI craze. They came out with Adobe Firefly not long ago, and now just recently, they just released their beta Photoshop app and its generative AI for Photoshop. And now with Photoshop generative AI, you can do a few things right off the bat. You can generate objects, generate backgrounds, extend images, remove objects, and more. I'm going to show you exactly how to do all these things right now. So the first thing we'll do is select a subject and then completely remove and replace the background background with something completely different. So check out my screen right now. You'll see I have a magical sword in the stone and this is exactly what we're going to do. Once you're in the file, you can see towards the middle bottom of my page, I have a new little toolbar right here. That's where all the magic is going to happen. So first make sure you're on this layer. And so what we want to do is we want to keep the sword in the stone here, but we want to completely change this background and we're going to do it all with generative AI. So the first thing we're going to use is the select subject tool. We're going to go to select subject and it's going to automatically default and select the sword in the stone. So after it's selected, we want to then go ahead and invert this subject. And you simply do that by clicking this button to invert it. And then once you do, you could see right here in the middle of my screen, you have a new tool called generative fill. What we're going to do is just type in any sort of new background to completely change the background with. Click that and then type in anything you want. In this case, I'm going to type in tropical beach, hit generate, and then watch this. And then check that out. It completely removes the background I had the sword and the stone in, and then it put in a pretty high quality tropical beach now instead in the background. And if you'll notice on the right hand side, you could see what it actually does is it creates a whole new layer. So I still have that photo. I still have my original photo right there. So now that's my brand new background photo. So staying on this image, let's go ahead and do this. Let's just take the tool like the lasso tool and then just cover any spot in the sky. And then again, you're going to have generative fill pop up and let's just go ahead and add some birds in the sky. I'm going to put in seagulls flying. Hit generate, give it some time. This usually takes about 30 seconds or so, and then it'll put seagulls in the sky flying for me. Okay, so then there you have it. There's one seagull right there. But then keep in mind, over here on this menu bar, I have something called one of three. If you go through your options, it gives you three different options of the seagull you wanna use. So say I wanna use that one, let's just go ahead and do that one. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mountainous snowy image and we're gonna completely transform it and make it look much better with a lake and the northern lights in the background. So the first thing you want to do is this. You can use any selection tool. Right here I have the selection marquee tool. And I'm going to go ahead and just highlight uh, the bottom portion of this right here. And then once I let go, generative AI will populate. And I'm going to go ahead and just type in frozen lake with reflections. Okay, that's pretty good. So it added a frozen lake with reflections. Now don't forget, you can go through the three variations it's going to create for you. You can do that by hovering over the menu down here where it says one out of three. But then also on the right hand side, you have variation previews. And if I click on each box over here on the right hand side, you could see the image completely transform to a different lake with reflection. And so here's our third one. And then I'll go back to the second and you can kind of see the difference. There's the third one. Let's go back to the second one. There's the second one and then let's go back to the first one. So it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and stick with the first option. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is that we're keeping this lake here and let's go ahead and get that selection marquee tool again and then now highlight the top portion of it. And now with that same selection tool selected, let's go ahead and now highlight the very top portion of it. Let generative fill populate and then let's just type in northern lights. Hit generate. Okay, and then there you had it. Right here, it added the northern lights for me. It's not bad. And then you can also add a different variation of your northern lights. Okay, so then the next thing we'll do is that we're going to add an item within this magician's hat. So I'm going to take this lasso tool, and I'm just going to draw around and inside the hat. And what usually comes out of a magician's hat, let's go ahead and type in the word bunny and then see what happens. Okay, and voila, there appears a bunny out of the magician's hat. Okay, so the next thing we'll do on this image is I'll take the lasso tool again and I'll just draw a oval type circle right down the middle of the road. And I'll go ahead and add yellow road lines. Hit generate and then watch it come up. Okay, so then there you go. It went ahead and added the single yellow line that you see on roads. And so that was a pretty good job as well. Okay, and then the other cool thing you can do, this makes it pretty easy to actually extend a background with the crop tool. So I can grab the crop tool right here and then just extend this image out like this. Then once you have it recentered, go back to the top left hand corner and grab the rectangular marquee tool. And then here's what we're gonna do. From here, we're just gonna go ahead and hover over the sides we wanna be refilled, leave it completely 
completely blank and then hit generate a fill, leave it blank and then hit enter and then Photoshop will know to automatically extend that image. That's not bad at all and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Okay now that did a very good job so if you look at the images it added the shadow it looks good and it looks like it belongs and blends in quite well. Okay and then last but not least I'm going to take this photo of outer space and we're going to grab the lasso tool and then simply just make a circle in the middle of outer space and now this time we're just going to go ahead and add a floating astronaut. Okay and then there's my astronaut. Might not be exactly what I had in mind but you can make some slight adjustments and it might give you something different. We could also change things up a little bit and then on the right hand side you can also add your prompts. For this one I'll put an 8k UFO floating in space. Hit generate and then this time I went ahead and changed it up a little bit and I added floating spacecraft and it's going to give me three more variations here. Okay and then there we have it. I'll go ahead and stick with this one. Let's go ahead and see if I can change up the actual background by making it have more stars in the sky. And so with some minor touch-ups and improvements, we'll have to blend in this craft a little bit more. I'll go ahead and deselect that from now. It did give me a brand new background that's gonna be a nighttime galaxy, and so it's not bad. It still needs a little bit of work, but it's pretty easy how you can make that happen. So then if I wanna add my spacecraft back, if this one doesn't look so good because it still has that black outline around the ring, I can go ahead and deselect it and then just do a completely different one now. And then now I'll do floating spacecraft again, and then now it will create a whole different spacecraft for me but this time it will take into consideration my new background with my galaxy and stars okay so now there you have it here are my three variations of my new spacecraft that I added into the generative AI so I can go through all three of these and then make a final decision now we have a brand new image where we completely changed everything in Photoshop generative AI thank you so much for watching this video please hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out but until then we'll see you next time I'm turning back